The Michigan Wolverines arrived in Bloomington looking to take their shot at the Hoosiers as well. Trailing Indiana by two games in the Big Ten Conference, the Maize and Blue boasted an impressive 8-2 conference mark and were not intimidated by the seemingly unbeatable Hoosiers. Well, going into the second game of Bloomington, we hadn't changed anything. Michigan was tough. They were a good team. They fought each time we played. Um, they never gave in. At halftime, Michigan was ahead 39-29. In the locker room at the half, I, I just told them to keep playing like they were playing because they were really playing well. And we were in Bloomington, and man, the fans were really on us. The Hoosiers trailed 55-47, and their undefeated season appeared to be coming to an end. Kent Benson wasn't about to let that happen. With the Hoosiers trailing by two points and 10 seconds remaining, Indiana had one last chance to tie. Down to seven seconds, off to Scott Murray, baseline, back out to Quinn, jumps out in the air, does it fall, Cruz tips it up, tip over, get gone! I remember Jimmy Cruz, I remember his shot. He, he gets the offensive rebound, rather than coming down and going back up, he catches it in the air and just flips it back up and then Benson was able to chip it in. And he actually had good hands, but we said he missed the pass and knocked it in the basket. It was very questionable whether the last basket was good or not. Of course, uh, Knight said it was good, I said it wasn't any good. <laughs> to me, that was probably the play of our season right there. Benson's tip in sent the game into overtime. It's one of those things in basketball, bounce back after a, a game's tied up like that is very hard to do. We, we got a second shot because it ended up going in overtime and we got them. In overtime, a quick four point Michigan lead was erased by an unlikely Hoosier hero. Sophomore Wayne Radford came off the bench for Indiana posting a career best 16 point performance en route to a 72-67 overtime victory. Had Wayne Radford not come in with a great uh, bench roll, uh, they would not have won. We all played them from tip off uh, for about 39 minutes and 59 seconds. That was the toughest loss I suffered all year. Indiana never led in that game until overtime. Somebody very quickly figured out that the only way they could play Indiana again was in the national title game. <laughs>